Hi, in this video you will learn how to create custom morphs for the new Genesis 9 characters in Daz 3D using Blender. In this video we're going to cover both body and face morphs. Make sure to take the like and subscribe button hostage and brutalize them just horribly until the algorithm pays my ransom. Remember, Blender makes for a better product. But Daz 3D is mostly built for speed, which is why I love to merge them or blend them together. Aren't I so clever? So let's get started. The first thing to do is bring in your character. Make sure it's selected. Go to your parameters. Click on Mesh Resolution. Switch it from High Resolution to Base. Then go to the Scene tab and then click on these little eye icons to deselect everything that's not the main body. So eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows, everything. Okay, if you don't deselect these add-ons, when you try to bring the character back into Daz 3D, you'll get an error message. It just won't work and you have to start this whole thing all over again. So after all that, go to File, Export export it as an OBJ. Now to get the right settings, click here where it says Daz Studio, but then scale it to 1%. Go to export, and now switch over to Blender. And it helps to keep both programs running at the same time. It's just a great way to stay organized. Also staying organized, make sure to export files somewhere that you can find it easily. So now here in Blender, Go to File, Import, locate your file name. Now that you found your file, before you push export, make sure you go down here to Geometry, Keep Vert Order, and select Polygroups. If you don't do this, horrible things will happen when you go to load your new morph, like this. Oh, oh, God. Oh, the humanity. It's so... Oh, oh, uh, oh, I need to lie down. But no, I must continue with the video. Now the character is properly imported. Time to create your morph. Make sure your character is selected in the Scene tab. Then go to Sculpt Mode. And the morph I'm just going to do here is just make this character a bit more curvy because, hey, it's my channel and I do what I want. If you want to know how to do this particular shaping... Go up here to Pixels, go from 50 to 150. It makes everything a lot smoother. And click Draw right here at the top. And just keep adding material until you're happy. So one of the things that's new with this process from something like a Genesis 8 to Genesis 9 is to make sure that the character is properly selected. And to do that, you need to go up to this menu here and go from Sculpt Mode back into Object Mode. If you don't do this, the morph and the character will not load back into Daz, so just get an error message. So now that the character is properly selected in Object Mode, go up here to Export, OBJ, and make sure that you scale the object back to 100 because you brought it down to 1% on the import. Now, before clicking on export, make sure your settings look like mine. And then export. Now back to Daz. With the figure selected, again, go to your edit menu, figure, morph loader pro, choose your morph file, and import. Then go to parameters, come down here to morphs, and there it is, it's working. Great. Celebrations all around. Okay, so when I make something like this, I only want to set up each morph once. So the next thing to do is to save this imported parameters morph into the shaping menu. So to do that, click on this little gear here. That's the parameter settings. Now here where it says path, it says morph and morph loader. Click on this little carrot here. Then go to actor full body, people, feminine, and just to make this 
Morph a little easier to find. I like to give it a custom color. I'm gonna go with this light blue to a dark blue. And if I did everything right, when I click accept, it should vanish from my parameters tab. So now it's in my shaping menu, but it's not saved yet. In order to actually save it so that I never have to set this particular morph up again, is go to file, save as, come to all the way to the bottom where it says support asset and then morph asset. Then go to actor, full body, people, feminine. Okay, now if I did my job right, I should be able to delete this character, bring in a brand new one that hasn't been affected by any of this thus far, go into the shaping menu and find the morph. And there it is. So that's how you apply a body morph and save it to your shaping menu so that every single time you make one of these, you don't have to keep reapplying it to all your new characters. Now on to the head morph. All the export settings are gonna be exactly the same, so I'm not gonna go over that one again. And for this, I'm just gonna make some small modifications to the lips and the cheekbones, just very, very small. So just load my character, go into sculpt mode, play around a bit. And again, the export settings are exactly the same, so I won't go over those again. Then go back into Daz, Edit, Figure, Morph Loader Pro, find the hopefully clearly marked file, two parameters, morphs, and there's the face morph. And again, go up here to your little gear icon, click it, parameter settings. And this is where it starts to be slightly different. Go to path, click on the little carrot, actor, go to head, people, feminine. And again, I'm just gonna make my custom colors, accept. And once again, it's in my shaping menu. Now to save it as a face morph, save as, support asset, morph asset. And this time it goes to gen nine, actor, head, people, feminine, and save, push accept. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, or let's face it, straight up abuse, that's what the comment section is for, and thanks for staying this long.